you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. What do you mean you can't say your name? Listen, listen. I hate to take anonymous calls because they are very annoying. If you have anything to say to me, you better say it now before I hang up. What? Rico? What was that? What does the person want? Um, just some anonymous caller with um, a weird allegation of you sleeping with John. Right? Me sleeping with Jordan. That person must be high on cheap drugs. I wonder. <laughs> Such expensive joke. Doris? Hmm? Um, it's not like I, I um have you ever slept with Jordan? Should it? I'm disappointed in you. You're even more ridiculous and pathetic than the person that called you. No, no, I'm no, no, wait, 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 I'm so Don't worry, stop begging me. I've told you I will try my best. Don't worry. Everything okay, will be fine. I'm relaxed, but I just want you're to not, be sure. You're not, you're not. You've been writing about the same thing over and over again. I will. Please, okay? Is that service on your baby now? Huh? Is that service on your baby now? I'm not babying. I'm watching a movie. Oh, okay. Doris? Yeah? Have you seen or heard from Jordan in a while? Um, no. At all? At all. Good. I... I don't want you to make any contact with me at all. Because if you do, I'll be very upset. Oh, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. What about this? Girl, this is what you need to wear to the party. This dress is hot, as in it is mad. Oh, uh, no. I was thinking I was going to wear something a bit crazier. Judith, you want to wear something crazier than this? Girl, if you wear anything crazier than this, it's going to be tagged as nudity. I mean, in as much as you plan on winning so many souls onto the line, <laughs> you need to look a bit decent because there are going to be loads of big shots at that party. Yeah, I know, but I need look to... at the dress. The dress is mad. It's just going to cling to your body like that. I know. This is what you need to wear, girl. This is it. I just think that the church is empty. I know your church is empty. Are you going to get? <laughs> Nobody there now. This is what you're wearing. My church you is empty. Wearing church is because of one party. It's because <laughs> I want the church to be full. I'll just think about that. All right, this is what you need to wear. That's why I bought me. Yeah, thank you so much, yes. Yeah, thank you. Hey! Babe, 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 guess what? We have to be there. We just have to be at this party. This type of party comes once in 10 years. Hmm, the way you talk about this party, I fear it's gonna be fire. Fire? <laughs> fire is an understatement. It's gonna be more than fire. Hmm. Guess what? Thanks for coming is just 250,000 there. 250,000, just for thanks for coming. <laughs> Babe, it is strictly by invitation. And your girl here has 
two. Ooh, wow, that's my chick. Oh well, my god. Why don't we go and sort out what to wear? Of course, yeah, we have to, we have to. But you know, I'm gonna wear the red dress. The short red dress. What are you wearing? Short for me. Oh my god, oh my god, short. <laughs> oh seriously. I'm gonna look like smashing. Ooh. You learned how to drive from a lousy mechanic. Oh, shut your dirty trap, even. I've just about enough of your blabbing, okay? Now, the only reason why my cousin and I stopped you, or rather, double crossed you, is because we're going to a very important party. And as we were told, losers are not invited. So I'm wondering, yep. where are you going? Where are you going? Because it's strictly by invitation. <laughs> well, darling, I'm going to the same party. And the person who invited me told me that. You know, wannabes are allowed, but not low life like you. Oh, please, Yvonne, shut up. I've had enough of you. Just hide it! Look at you, puppy. Uh, do I look like a puppy to you? Oh, get alive, yeah, darling. Right. No, get you alive. alive. You get alive. Get alive. Shameless <laughs> friends. Uh, I cannot believe you brought your beef to this trip. Shioma, please, just shut up! Shut up! I've had enough of you! Not to worry, Yvonne. All she does is blab. Peacemaker, uh, go on. Blab. Let me warn you, Yvonne. If you come an inch close to me with your dirty feel this thinking unbelievable ass and you try to spoil things for me, I will so make sure you don't well, get back she to doesn't you. have so anything on us. I hope you don't. don't. I hope you don't. My jello fry says, How you they do today? My tomato just see I don't they think about you. He they make me they wonder because you love me so so tender. But now I am darling, cause here is so so boring. For a very very long time, I don't they shivo. And it be like Senna fever. I they catch it cold. Oh, you not too much. See, I they catch it cold. Oh, you not too much. Yeah. Baby, I they catch it cold. Oh, you not too now. I said, baby, I they catch it cold. Yeah. Oh, you not too I said, baby, I they catch it cold. Nah, nah, nah. Baby, run, 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 run. So I'm, I'm just so angry with this girl for spoiling my night. You know what? I've had this up to here. I'm tired of all this nonsense. I'm tired of it. Well, I didn't really see what happened back then. I mean, I was chatting with my new catch, whom you didn't allow me run off with. Were you blind? No, I wasn't. I mean, didn't you notice that that daft celebrant was staring at me before those two Lola just walked in and spoiled all my plans? What plans? <sighs> Wait. You didn't notice that the celebrant was actually seated opposite us, staring at me and blinking at me, and I was smiling at him? And I was just waiting for him, you know, like a, like a fine girl concern, waiting for him to just come up to me and make the first move. Before those stupid girls just walked in and spoiled everything for me. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said he came from America. I mean, back there, women ask men out. Doris was just smarter than me. You think so? I think so. You don't know that, right? Of course you shouldn't. Well, 
You have to get your butt off that seat and go to bed. It's 2 a.m. and I'm tired. But I'm still so peaceful. I will so do it. May I get I'm over it? Look, I'm just responsible for this whole thing. And ah. She just bought everything for me. Especially that dream girl and that long life of a daughter. I'm going to deal with her later. Come in. I said sit down. Are you trying to play secretive? Or you want me to beg for the gist? Tell me, you got back last night after seven days and then you still keep your lips sealed? Come on! Tell me something, Jimmy, what happened? Jimmy, you scared me. <laughs> God, the way he said sit down, I was like, okay, what did I do again? Tell me. Anyways, to think that that's how you told me to come all the way to your room because of Jesus. Yes, that's why I called you. Tell me. I'll tell you. After that night when we left the club, mm -hmm. Barak told me to come to his hotel and we just chilled till the next evening. That's all. No, 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 there's, um, there's more to be said and you know that. Tell me all, all, okay, everything. Okay, 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 I'll tell you. He got a call that night that I had to be in Ghana for a conference and he asked me to come with him, but I didn't want to go. But he was just sweet talking me and everything. I was like, okay, 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 I'll go. And we got to Ghana and girl, he showed me the best time of my life. I know. <laughs> and then we left Ghana, I came back to Port Harcourt and he proposed to me. It's a lie. It is. Lie. Like, I can't believe in myself. It's still like a dream. Ah! <laughs> Barack Donuts? Mm -hmm. CEO of a multi-billion dollar empire here yes. proposed to my my cousin? Yes sir! <laughs> swear, you kidding me? I swear I'm still in shock myself. I cannot believe it. I know people will die for buttercuts. People are going to die in this buttercut. Girl, you can say that again. Especially that stupid slut called Yvonne. Oh my god, she's going to trip and fall! Oh, yeah, they will fall on top of themselves. Wait, I can't what? Shout. You are engaged to Barack? Yes, me. I pray. <laughs> Anyways, he wants us to get married ASAP, so you know we have to get going and get everything together. The plans, as in, I'm confused with everything, but we'll do it one way or the other. And we have to go to just to see moms and pops and everybody because, as everything is still like a dream. Don't you? Please, I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to get it in myself. So right now, you need to get me a drink and let us celebrate because you're my maid of honor. <laughs> yeah, I pray my logo. I pray my logo. Oh, I Where's the drink, though? Career services. Are you Miss Judith? Yes. Miss yes. Okoye? Yes. Sorry, I have a letter for you. From where? I don't know. Okay, thank you. I have something to sign, I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> 
and um, to our, vi our, our passport, our visas. <laughs> That's right, our visas. <laughs> and to all of all our love. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I think I should make a toast. Okay. Mm -hmm. To our ever, ever so green relationship. And of course, to me not being dumped by you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because I mean, those girls are so hard to take the grace of God to save any man. Oh, come on. I'm glad we're still here. Come on, come on. Listen, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, does that give me some credit? No. Why aren't you enjoying it? Tell me, why aren't you? Listen, I was just, I was just playing games. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't mean anything. I was, mm -hmm. I was just playing games. What was your favorite? Uh, no, Did it? listen, listen, uh -huh. don't, don't, Ooh, don't, is... don't even go. Oh, the dark skin one. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Love you more. I'm so happy we're going to Canada. I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me everything. <laughs> Please, Judy, don't tell me it's because of Jordan. Oh, shut up your mouth! Shut up your dirty, filthy, stinking mouth! Don't you ever mention the name around me again, ever! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you. You should be. Get out of my sight. Get out of my head, physical! Just get out! No! My God, Judith, you're still awake? Come on, dear. You can't solve a problem by creating another. Hmm? This is past 11 p.m. and you're still awake, crying over your cousin's illness. My dear, if you continue like this, she will recover to come and start looking after you in the hospital again. And which is not good. Oh, come on, come dear. Go back to bed. Doris will be okay. She'll be all right. to ask you a favor. What is it? I need for you to escort me somewhere to a place where I put landed property. I just want for you to see it before I pay so I, I don't make a mistake. No problem, we'll go later. No, no, no. Listen, get, get up. Your wedding planner is going to be here for 10 o'clock and it won't be nice if she meets neither of us at home. So get up. Come on, let's go. I'll just sleep for five minutes. No. No. Get, get off. Oh, oh. And that thing is, what was that about? Who was it about Jordan? Look, the guy has moved on already. You should do the same. Yes. Yes, you're, you're right. He's moved on and I, I should move on too. So, get dressed and let's go. Oh, oh, you always have to have your way. I have to have your way.
dead bush at this time of the night. It is not a dead bush. This is where I bought my property. Why would you want to buy a land here? Why would you want to live here? Who said I'm living here? I only bought the property. I don't know why anybody ah. would want to buy anything. Here they are. Kind of the guys who sold the land to me. It's up to you. Please, I'm, I'm here to see Jordan or, or Vivian, his younger sister, any of them at all. I, I need to see them now. I guess you are a bit late. How, how do you mean? Jordan and his wife Vivian traveled to Canada last night. <laughs> I, I, I think you're making a mistake. Vivian is Jordan's kid sister. And we all thought so until he invited my uncle to their court wedding. That was the day before yesterday. You're kidding me, yes? I don't think their travel to Canada is only for their honeymoon because they sold everything in their apartment, including their car. <sighs> yes, unknown caller, what can I do for you? Known receiver. I've called to tell you something very interesting. Well, the last time you told me something, it made me do something extremely silly. So out with it because I'm rushing somewhere. Oh, to the airport? Who is this? Who is this and how did you know that? Where are you? <laughs> um, don't worry your head about it, darling, okay? And for the question, where I am? I am in my paradise, darling. Am I in any way talking to Yvonne? Of course you're speaking with Yvonne. The lady whose fingers fed you. The lady whose fingers you bit. And the lady who has sworn with everything she has to deal with you. Jesus! Yvonne? Yvonne? You made me kill my cousin? It's you? Oh, no, sweetie, no. <laughs> I did not make you kill your cousin. You killed your cousin. You're such a fool. I mean, were you blind? Didn't you see the pictures? Oh, darling. You know what? I paid Jordan to drug Doris and take those photographs. Because I knew that you'd be too blind to see that. <laughs> well, Judith, if I may advise you, I would say that just go back to your house, take a hot coffee, and mourn your brat of a cousin. And as for Jordan, he just called me to say that um, he just arrived in Canada and he's having a swell time with Vivian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, for the records, darling, for the records. I have everything on tape. How you and your men killed Doris. You strangled the poor girl. I mean, that is a very terrible thing to do, darling. <laughs> Ivan! Ivan! Oh! My God! Doris was found dead. 
I'll, I'll come later, okay? I'll, I'll come later. Oh my god, these girls. Oh, just these cheap rounds. Oh, it's not good. Just cheap rounds they do. is a bit short. Her name is Choma. Don't lay a finger on her. That's your name. You get the balance after the job is done. Don't forget, before cockroach. We will get back to you. Consider it done. Now you just have to stop crying so I can hear you out. Come on, I'll do a job this one. I'll drop this one right now. So don't talk. What is the problem? What happened? Is, is, is that what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, <sighs> I know who did this. Of course, Judith, Judith, of course. Who else would have done it? It's Judith. She sent her men after me, right? <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm fine, I'm alright, I'm alright. You know what? Just don't get yourself worked up about that. I'm fine. Now, I can't really tell you where I am right now, but I'm in a hotel. I'm just chilling, okay? Yeah, listen to me, okay? Just listen, just calm down. Just calm. Hope you're not hurt. Did they hurt you? Are you sure? 
Okay, fine, fine, fine. Just take it, just calm down, right? Everything's under control. Trust me now, just trust me. She's a small fry, don't worry, she's a small fry, okay? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Take care. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Are you out of your mind? Have you gone to sleep with Zek? You have the effrontery to stand before me and tell me you didn't meet her in her house? Where did she go? Where did she go? Ah, <laughs> you, you, you want to deceive me? You want to deceive me? Okay, trust me. Your boss will certainly hear about this. Please, madam. We plead with you not to let our boss hear of this. It is against our rules to do a job without our boss knowing. We accepted this day because of how close we are. Please give us more time. We will deliver. Two days. I give you two days to deliver. Else, I will so sing to your boss. We promise. Oh, stop bowing. Get out of my house. Send Tops to kill your friend! What the? I'm not the man! <sighs> Judith, this is the one that you have done! She has done worse! All the while we're beefing. Outside, I saw her as an enemy. But in these four walls, I saw her as a friend and a sister. What does that tell you? It means I love her. I love her so much. She felt wrong. She saw Doris and I as her enemies. That was why she... She made me... She made me... Kill Doris. Judith? You killed Doris? You killed Doris, Judith? What did she do to you? What was I supposed to do? I was upset. I thought she had done the same thing Yvonne did to me. And out of jealousy, I... Kill her. Kill her. You should have said something! You should have said something to me! Check, 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 check
there's a long process. Okay, my bank is just around the corner. Go and get the money. No, no, no. Don't fall it. Don't fall it. It's been in other ways. Listen, you have helped me tell Yvonne. Tell Yvonne I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? She's my best friend, my best, my best, best friend. I that you are going to be born. Tell someone get there, okay? Okay. Tell her just in case I don't get you. Get out of this place alive. Because the pain is much taller. Let me just rush this water. Okay. Okay. Chop, 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 chop. Okay, go, go, go. Don't let me feel the pain. Baby, baby, <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> I just want to suck the breast. You just want to suck my breast. Just breast. You don't want to make love to me. No, 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 no. I just like to suck breast. That's all. Go in and wash. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this man is really strange. He just wants to suck my breast. He doesn't want to make love to me. Whatever. Hello, baby. Hi. Sweet girl with little brain. By the time I finish sucking your breast, who will understand who Elijah Moza is. Hi, Elijah. Hi. Where is my friend? Please just come. Where is my friend? Where is my friend? You have to go to your first office. What do you mean by that? Just bring yourself together. She has a message for you. She said she loves you and that she, you are her best friend for life. Oh, oh my God. I hope you're happy now. And it's Then suddenly,
does not guide a house in vain, does the waterman guide it? And when God hasn't said yes about a thing, no one dares say yes to it. Who would believe that I used to live in this lonely space with three of my best friends? Who would believe that I lost them all within the space of one week? Doris died on Tuesday, two weeks to her wedding to Barak, a multi-millionaire. Judy died on Friday, exactly three days after, and Yvonne, the reason we all came here, died on Saturday, just yesterday. <laughs> Today is Sunday, our favorite day of the week, a day we go grooving like sisters. Who would have ever thought that a Sunday could ever be so boring in this paradise of ours? <laughs> as Yvonne will refer to it. The doctor said that I should take heart, that it was how God wanted it. But I put it to you, that it is rather the way we made it. You know, people often label things like this to the will of God. But no, I really doubt that. Because if Yvonne did not get jealous about Judith and Jordan's relationship, this wouldn't have happened. If Doris didn't prefer beef to peace, this wouldn't have happened. If Judith didn't turn greedy to their usual habit of sharing their men, this wouldn't have happened. Or should I say that if only we did not make it a habit to sleep with every other man just for the sake of money, maybe, just maybe my friends will still be here today popping wines and making more noise as we usually do. In a nutshell, this is a result of jealousy, greed, antagonism, selfishness, and pride. I must walk away from all this. But before then, I besiege with the Nigerian government to do something about the Jews crisis so that more young girls won't have to run out of jaws into their untimely graves in search of a better life. Please, I beg you, Nigeria, do something. Looking back to yesterday, see how Without you, I'm all alone. That's so very true. Without me, I'm feeling Tell me why Why are we killing each other Fighting each other Why are we beefing each other I want 
So very true. 